In this lesson, we're going to be continuing our work on the base mesh for our face. We're going to take a minute to remove some six-pointed stars that could cause issues later on and add some more resolution. We'll also start to create the base mesh for the helmet or for the hat that she's wearing. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's take a second and actually make an instance of the face that we have. So just come down to Duplicate Special and make sure that it's set to Instance and negative 1 in the X axis and Apply. All right, so now we have our face. Now, a quick thing I want to do is because this is really sharp, that means we need to bring out these vertices a little bit more so that forehead is a little bit flatter. All right, it's not going to line up in the drawing, but this is correct and we'll adjust accordingly later on to match the drawing so so let's remove some of these six-pointed stars as you can see right here if we merge these two pieces together we would have a six-pointed star right here and up here at the forehead which we do not want so to fix that just use your interactive split tool and split it from here to the center and then grab this edge and you can just delete it. Now use your insert edge loop hotkey and add an edge loop that goes right down the center of the nose. Use your interactive split tool and recombine it right there. So now you have all quads and no six pointed stars. Now let's do the same up here on the forehead. Let's cut it right across the forehead. Now we have a nice mask here. Okay, And then let's take a second and cut it right up the top and you can delete that edge and so that star is now taken care of. Let's go to the side view and make sure that these new edges and points match the drawing. So we can just bring that across and that's looking pretty good up there. So let's take a second and fill in this uh, cheek polygon. So just go ahead and grab this edge and extrude it using your hotkey. Switch to vertices and snap these vertices to the existing vertices uh, right by the eye. So go ahead and merge them. And now let's go ahead and clean this up. So interactive split tool right across. We can grab this vertice here and just bring it down. And we can delete this edge. All right. And we're also going to take that and cut it right across. So now any edges we add will give us some more um, resolution to work with here in the upper cheek jaw area. So let's go ahead and insert an edge loop. Nope. Let's delete this edge right here and insert an edge loop that goes right over the top of the forehead. And you can use your interactive split tool and reconnect it and do it one more time right across. So now you have clean mesh to work with. All right, again, like always, just grab these new vertices that we've created and make sure that they're clean uh, and match the drawing. So you can just grab them, you can just move them out slightly. That should be good. All right, so with those in place, it's looking pretty good. Now let's start to create parts of this uh, helmet that she's wearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a strip that goes all the way around that we can work with. So if you grab just the top three to start with, top three edges, let's just extrude it. And from the side view, we're just going to start mapping the top of the head. All right? And just keep extruding. Once you get up here, start rotating. And do it again. Extrude. Give a slight rotate. It's looking good. We're just going to do this all the way around. Just building a slight skeleton. This is another way that we could have actually uh, modeled the face. It's just a different technique. And it's a good way to get outlines of uh, certain areas fast. All right. Now this is going to take need some cleanup but that's okay. We can and I'm just going to bring it right down here to the bottom. And then we're actually going to scale it in just a little bit. There we are. So now 
If we grab these edges and you can just scale them, we can actually slide this up. There we go. Okay, let's grab some of these edges here and extrude them out. What we're going to do is it's going to start combining these by adding the proper edges so they can be connected. Should be good. Now this is super rough. Let's just merge these together. And we'll, we'll worry about cleaning it up later on. We just want to get in a rough shape here. Okay. What we can do is just grab this whole thing and we can do mesh, fill hole, and with these selected, this edge loop, just slide it back. All right. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cut this across. Let's just start cutting. this right up here. And we can insert one, two, and three. It's just enough to work with. There we are. Again, this is uh, very rough. We'll do, we'll clean this up later on. We just want to get something temp in here. Get it full. So if we look from the front view, it is not going to look proper. It's going to be very thin. But what we can do is you can just grab these vertices with a soft select and just bring it out. But we'll worry about cleaning that up later. So for now, since that's created, let's actually separate these faces. So select the faces we've just created. Right there. And do mesh extract. There we are. And we can actually, for now, let's just hide it since all we're going to be focusing on is the head edit duplicate special there we are so let's start adding some more detail to the lips and the mouth just by adding one or two spans and start matching the drawing you can pull it out just a little bit or in and we can do the same for the lips so if you actually go to the side view we can see that we can pull these vertices out to start to match the drawing. It's just tweaking now. It's starting to clean up and up res the model that we've that we have. The landmarks are where they need to be. And now it's just detail. Alright, we can add an edge loop that goes right around here. Start to replace some of the existing mesh that we have here. Start to clean this up. So continue to up res and clean up these spans and in the next lesson we're actually going to get in and start detailing the eye so i'll meet you in the next lesson where we'll get started on that